And I'm Storm Team 4 meteorologist Erica Grow. It's still going to be blustery and cold tonight, but milder weather greets us to start the work week. We'll talk about those milder temperatures and our next chance for rain arriving in the exclusive. Grow is joining us now uh, with a look at the weather in our area. And Erica, it definitely felt like February again today. Yes, absolutely. And that's exactly what we talked about yesterday, that it, we would get that reminder that it is definitely still area. You see here on the Storm Team 4 10-day forecast, a big surge in temperatures before that cool down arrives. So we'll be back in the 60s on Wednesday and then falling into the 40s again by the end of next work week and into next weekend. Jen, back to you. Erica, thanks so much. And Bruce Beck is here with a look at sports. What's happening tonight? Well, talk down the blue shirts. That's coming up at midnight. And those pups are even more impressive because I was looking at the video. You can see it was windy. The wind from the fountain wind. water was moving and the palm trees and were moving. And there's brake and you got to read the brake right. and you've got to know the speed. That's, That's why he's a pro and I'm not. Right. <laughs> thanks, Bruce. Stay ahead of the storm with the NBC Port New York app. Tap the NBC Port logo in the corner and select the weather tab. See the latest forecast. Interactive radar your home screen. Download the NBC Port New York app on the App Store. Contests. Subscribe now at NBCNewYork.com slash newsletters. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us tonight for News 4 at 6. Nightly News is next. And late work week. Here's a look at the Storm Team 4 10-day forecast. Check out these temperatures surging all the way into the 60s on Wednesday, but you'll need to keep that umbrella handy with a few chances for showers on both Tuesday and Wednesday. And then the colder air descends in. This time, guys, it's going to stick put for a few days instead of just this one-day kind of little uh, temperature dip that we've had today. All to welcome the month of March. That's right. right. Yeah, that's right. Coming in like a lion, it looks like. Right. Thanks, right. Erica. Mm -hmm. So ahead on. Grow is joining us now uh, with a look at the weather in our area. And Erica, it definitely felt like February again today. Yes, absolutely. And that's exactly what we talked about yesterday, that it, we would get that reminder that it is definitely still February. Right now we're taking a live look at Storm Tracker 4's red sweep and nothing to show you today, though there were some flurries from time to time. Yeah, that colder air definitely moved in in earnest overnight last night into early this morning. But tonight will be cloudier than it was today, but it'll also be milder. So I think most of us will appreciate that change. You don't need the heaviest winter coat tomorrow. Rain arrives on Tuesday and the work week pattern in general is pretty unsettled. Right now we're barely above freezing in Hapatcong, High Point also at 34, and temperature in Califon. It's 40 degrees already in Central Park. Those temperatures dip very, very quickly. 35 in Farmingdale and West Hampton at 37 degrees. A big, big temperature change from this time yesterday. Check out these temperatures. 22 degrees cooler in White Plains, 27 degrees cooler in Newburgh, 17 degrees cooler in Bridgewater and Morristown, a whole 29 degrees colder, and it's because of these winds winds that were very strong out of the west and northwest today that brought in that drier air and that cooler air. Newark had a peak wind gust of 35 miles per hour. Islip peaked at 37 miles per hour with your wind gust. Now those are the flurries that I was talking about on satellite and radar. Some of this didn't reach flying. No accumulating snow in the Catskills or the Hudson Valley today. Overnight tonight that activity will dissipate. Clearing skies and lessening winds will allow our temperatures to fall even further. So we'll dip down to 25 in New Paltz, 23 in Monticello, 34 in Central Park. The cloud cover starts to build back in early tomorrow morning and will be mostly cloudy by the afternoon. But at noon our temperature will already be 51. So just cool, not too terribly cold, and it will be milder than average already. So those temperatures getting back above where they should be for this time of year, and that means that our next event will fall into the form of rain, not snow. 6 a.m. Tuesday, though, you might have a few showers pushing through. Still during the morning commute, it looks unsettled from start to finish. That's on Tuesday, not tomorrow. Tomorrow is a dry day, but it looks like the middle of the work week will be unsettled. It will be mild as well, and then we're going to see a big dip in the jet stream arrives, and that's going to bring us the potential for some snowflakes here in the state area. You see it here on the Storm Team 4 10-day forecast, a big surge in temperatures before that cool down arrives. So we'll be back in the 60s on Wednesday and then falling into the 40s again by the end of next work week and into next weekend. Jen, back to you. Erica, thanks so much. And Bruce Beck is here with a look at sports. What's happening tonight? Well, talk down the blue shirts. That's coming up. Midnight. And those pups are even more impressive because I was looking at the video. You can see it was windy. The wind from the right. fountain water was moving and the palm trees were moving. And there's brake and you got to read the brake right. and you've got to know the speed. That's impressive. That's why he's a pro and I'm not. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Bruce. Stay ahead of the storm with the NBC Port New York app. Tap the NBC Port logo in the corner and select the weather tab. See the latest forecast. Interactive radar at your home screen. Download the NBC Port New York app on the App Store. Of contests. Subscribe now at NBCNewYork.com slash newsletters. 
All right, well, thank you so much for joining us tonight for News 4 at 6. Nightly News is next, and more like winter today, but I and think that's expect, yeah. leaving. Short-lived. Yes, was quite exactly. a was, was quite a winter, wasn't it, Erica? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And we got that surge of temperatures l late last week, and now those temperatures have plummeted again. But as you just mentioned, a short-lived little break, and then those temperatures heading right back to spring-like levels, though not quite as warm as it was last week. Storm Tracker 4's live red sweep right now, not picking up on anything. We did have a few flurries and light snow showers far north and west of town earlier on in the day, but they have all dissipated. So in our weather headlines overnight tonight, the wind settling down. That wind was awfully blustery today, wasn't it? It made it feel a lot chillier. We had those wind chills in the 20s and 30s throughout the entire day, and it was quite a shock to the system, especially compared to the 60s and 70s that we just got done dealing with. More clouds and milder on Monday. So Monday is a pretty nice day. It's probably the best day of the whole work week, actually, because two Tuesday, even though the mild temperatures stay with us, we will not a lot of rain, but still enough to dampen that windshield as you're heading to and from work. Right now, Melville is 28 degrees. We're already all the way down to 29 in Farmingdale, and it's 29 degrees right now in Sayville. It is 37 in Central Park, so still above freezing there, but most of us are below freezing. 26 degrees in Bridgewater and Sussex. And when you factor in that wind, it does feel even a little bit chillier than that in some spots. Right now it feels like 22 in Danbury, 31 in Bridgeport. We feel like we're below freezing right now in Midtown Manhattan. So those winds were really, really strong today. They have greatly subsided. Good news there. But we had wind gusts near 40 miles per hour in Iceland today. LaGuardia had a peak wind gust of 34 miles per hour. Newark had a peak wind gust of 35 miles per hour. So thankfully those winds have died down now that Saturday's storm system has really pulled away, and now we're just ushering in more of that dry air. But we are watching another storm system approach, and it doesn't look very organized here on satellite and radar, and it's not going to be. So we'll just see a few clouds arriving tomorrow. Overnight tonight, mostly clear, down to 34 degrees in Midtown, 30 in White Plains and Trenton, 25 in New Paltz, and 33 in Bridgeport. So temperatures not really going much of anywhere from where they are right now. And then tomorrow will warm up pretty quickly. So 35 to start the day with partly sunny skies, more clear clouds, but milder temperatures by noon with a temperature of 51 at that point, 53 at 5 o'clock. Normally we would say, hey, this is great weather, but in comparison to what we just got through, it doesn't feel quite as warm. Looking ahead to the middle of the work week, an active pattern in the jet stream starts to set up over us. That's going to bring us rain and showers for a few days, and then the cold air starts to descend back in, and we'll get a more prolonged taste of winter as we head into a late work week. Here's a look at the Storm Team 4 10-day forecast. Check out these temperatures surging all the way into the 60s on Wednesday, but you'll need to keep that umbrella handy with a few chances for showers on both Tuesday and Wednesday. And then the colder air descends in. This time, guys, it's going to stick put for a few days instead of just this one-day kind of little uh, temperature dip that we've had today. All to welcome the month of March, right? right? Yeah, that's right. Coming in like a lion, it looks like. Right. Thanks, Erica. Mm -hmm.